This little town is Lone Pine in California. On first glance, it seems like just another uninspiring middle of nowhere town with a few motels until you realize over 200 movies and TV shows were shot right here in their backyard. Not to mention, it's also the gateway to some pretty spectacular mountains. This one is Lone Pine Peak, probably the most photographed mountain in the Eastern Sierra and definitely the most prominent from the streets of Lone Pine. But this story isn't about that mountain. It's about this mountain. This is Mount Whitney. And even though it seems to pale in comparison to Lone Pine, it's actually the tallest mountain in the United States, if you don't count Alaska. And I know two people who think <laughs> oh, that they can man, climb it. We're like, oh yeah, Whitney, we can climb that, no big deal. Let me introduce you. The first one is me. Oh God, I'm so dead. My name is Cody, I'm 31 years old, and I like to be outside, climb rocks, and make videos about it. And this gorgeous young lady, about to eat a bacon cheeseburger that's as big as her head, is my wife, Victoria. And this whole thing was her idea. I don't know, I mean, I figured that we climbed two alpine climbs so far, so might as well climb the highest mountain in the lower 48. How hard could it be? <laughs> my worst nightmare is coming true. I lost one of my contacts last night, and... Now I have to wear glasses this whole trip. <laughs> it's not ideal, that's for sure. Well, what can you do? I was low-key freaking out. It's like, I don't know. I'm blind without my glasses. We look cute. All right, so are we bringing the number four? I feel like maybe. <laughs> We might use it, I guess. Now we'll know for sure whose bag is the heaviest, because we always try to compare. <sighs> okay. 38? 678. 38 pounds. Oh yeah, mine's like 44. 44? 44, maybe like 43. <laughs> Before going into the hike, I was worried about three things. The elevation. Well, we just left the Whitney Trail. Now we're on North Fork Trail. And we're about to hike 4,200 feet in four miles. <laughs> it's about to get kind of gnarly. The condition of the trail. This might be the most gnarly thing I've done with like my full bag. Turns out the trail was really miserable. Really tired, can't really breathe, and hot. It was actually kind of interesting, like I felt pretty good on like the whole hike in. Oh God, I'm so dead. Oh. And that was definitely the biggest mountain I've ever seen in person. Yeah, Jesus, look at that. How you doing? I'm okay. I'm just really tired. You feeling it? Yeah. Are you feeling sick or just tired? Just like, like I want to take a nap. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't it's believe. Crazy. Holy. It still looks so big. Wow. Like we're at what, 12,000 feet? Yeah. That thing looks massive. It might as well be in space. Oh my god, we made it. We made it. Okay, this is camp. This is camp for the night. Iceberg Lake and the glorious Mount Whitney. Holy freaking. Yeah, I don't know, like the whole hike, I felt pretty good. Like as soon as I stopped hiking and took my bag off, I just immediately felt like crap. And that's when I started having doubts like, oh shoot, we made it to camp and now I might have to go back down. 
this is the last thing I'm doing today. Once this tent is set up, I'm gonna go sit somewhere. And I ain't moving. I'm freaking dead. It's only the tallest frickin' mountain in the U.S., basically. We're just scoping lines. Scoping lines and reading books, baby. And recovering. Oh, God. Start climbing this route as early as possible, it says. The route only receives light from sunrise to about 2 p.m. and can be cold in the shade. It kind of blows my mind to think that this thing was climbed back in 1937. Like, I can't even imagine what it must have been like climbing it in, you know, terrible boots. And yeah, it's pretty crazy to think uh, almost 100 years ago. And now we're going to climb it. First of all, I feel 10,000% better <laughs> than I felt when we got up here. And you know what the trick was? Dried mangoes. I don't know why. I had like three dried mangoes and I feel like I could run a marathon. There was a second there where I thought I was gonna lose it. I was kind of like feeling nauseous too at some point, you know? I was like, ah, oh, maybe I won't eat dinner or whatever, but I'm hungry now. Nice job, babe, making your own backpacking meals. That's impressive. It's pretty easy. A lot cheaper. Just, just need a dehydrator. Yeah. Well, we're in bed at 7.45. Yeah, it got cold outside. Yeah, because we're pretty tired. Fortunately, we're feeling pretty good, but tired and got to get up super early. So super excited for a big climb tomorrow. Biggest climb of our lives. So I guess we'll see it in the morning. the next morning it was so beautiful the weather was perfect and we pretty much just got straight to hiking and we quickly realized that we were at elevation because it was yet again a struggle to breathe I'm getting back to that point again where I'm wondering if I actually like this man this is so cool though wow that's beautiful Take a second to appreciate it. It's crazy that we're gonna be on the top of the tallest mountain in the lower 48. Whew. Yes. Yes. We are so close. It's literally right there. Hell yeah. I'm so freaking stoked. Oh. So I went uh, full nerd status today and taped a string <laughs> to my glasses so they don't fall off when I'm climbing. Yeah, I mean, if you lose those, you're not getting I won't survive you. if I lose my glasses. Okay, there's my They're both, yep, it's good. Yours looks good, mine is good. Okay. Pitch one of the biggest mountain in the lower 48. You never really know what it's gonna be like when you start a big climb, but I could pretty much tell from the first couple of moves that this one was gonna be pretty classic. Oh, yeah, I like that. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. Man, this is kind of full on for five seven. Oh man, we are already up here. First pitch. Wow. Radio check. Oh, you are on the Radio is working. I'm going to climb. Pitch. Yeah. 
Hell yeah, babe. Welcome to pitch one. I think I went a little too far, but. Yeah, it's all right, it works. Whatever's clever. As long as we don't get off route. Yeah. Then it's fine. So I got to the top of pitch two. I was gonna try to pitch it out a little bit and do this, but this is pitch three, poor pro. Yeah, five, seven, no protection it looks like. Yeah, so I didn't want to do that. So I bailed and Cody is much better at risking his life than I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. So I don't like to risk my life. Whoa. Is there any protection like I'm just like is it worth the risk? Yeah, this is sketch. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Fuck man, that is not <sighs> worth it. Holy fuck. Yeah. It probably doesn't look like anything on camera, but uh, that is in your face. Would not recommend. <laughs> what pitch are we on? This is... Top of pitch three. Top of pitch three. Playing the hurry up and wait game right now. We have a very nice party ahead of us. You guys want to be in a video? Hey, what's uh, up? Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, these are our friends from Reno. So, we're being kind and checking out the views. After watching that really sketchy pitch, it was finally my time to lead some pitches. And I think the rock was just like bomber and the climbing was just uh, more fun after that. This looks fun right here. Woo. Hell yeah. We were making our way up towards this landmark that they call the Pee Wee, which is actually just this like huge oh, overhanging rock. But once you get up close to it, it actually is like pretty intimidating. Kind of looks like it, it's gonna fall off one day. So right. nice. Cool. Now we're on who knows. We're just going up. <laughs> <laughs> I think like this is pitch five. The rest of the climb, there was a lot of like fourth class scrambling. At that point, we were kind of just done climbing. I mean, we were so tired and out of breath. Oh, we are getting so close to the summit. Not sure where I'm going. I'm just kind of walking around up here at 14,000 feet. I think I placed like one or two yeah. pieces in like a 200 foot pitch. I'm getting tired. We in the mountains, baby! Yeah, we up here, we at like 14,000 something feet. Not quite at the summit yet though, but close enough to where we don't need our rope anymore. I think we're literally like 20 feet from the summit of Mount Whitney. Hey, Maybe, apparently. Ooh, boy. <sighs> Sick. Nice job. 
<laughs> it was pretty cool to uh, top out on Mount Whitney. It's actually we a really it. interesting experience because, you know, you've climbed this whole way and you pull up over the top of the summit and there's just like 20, 30 people up there. I don't know, it's just a weird feeling. But then you sit and you're thinking like, oh yeah, I'm on the tallest mountain in the US. Like, that's pretty cool. Top of the biggest mountain in the lower 48. How do you feel? I feel exhilarated. And kind of hungry. And hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how cool. This is really cool. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy to look out on all these mountains and realize that this one is bigger. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm ready to start climbing some harder stuff. Less elevation, more splitter fingers. <gasps> now, we gotta find out how the hell to get off of this thing. We were gonna get a proper ridge traverse after climbing to the top of Whitney. 